Hey folks, Rick here from La La Farm. So a couple of months ago, uh, I told everybody that we would do a review or kind of a tour of our new fifth wheel camper. The time has arrived. All right, folks, as promised, took a couple of months to kind of get it in line. Been crazy busy around here, but we finally got the time, or I got the time, uh, to kind of do a walk around of this uh, uh, new RV. I shouldn't say new. It's you. It's new to us. It's actually a 2019 uh, Durango fifth wheel. So let's show you around. So one of the first things I noticed about this when we were looking at it is the amount of exterior storage. So. goes all the way through to the other side. So we can also access that from that door as well as this door on the other side. So it goes all the way through which is a really great feature on our travel trailer that we traded in uh, it had a third of the exterior storage that this has so that was one of the things that really turned us on to this this is the battery storage also has uh, electronic leveling automatic leveling so when we get to where we want to uh, level the RV we can control all four of the leveling jacks right from this control panel as well as do uh, some other activities that's really the only thing that I've messed with. Manual disconnect for the battery. So if we wanted to manually disconnect uh, the battery, we can turn this. Going around to the other side. So here we have 60 gallons of uh, LP storage, propane gas storage. Um, In addition to the control on the other side, this is a, another uh, leveling controller um, on the other side of the trailer. So we can control that from even out here. So this RV uh, runs on either 30 or 50 amp like most do. Plugs in right here. And while we are at home, we have uh, had a 50 amp um, uh, plug installed on the house so we just plug the trailer in and that acts essentially as a trickle charger so coming around to the front this is the anderson uh ball hitch receiver that we had installed did a previous video on that um underneath the front that is the actual hitch from or the ball from the interior of the bed of my truck over here in my truck that's one of the things i really like about see those two black bars those are actually the mounting hardware for the ball it's one thing i really like about that system is it preserves the bed of my truck for truck you things you know hauling things around which many times you have a fifth wheel uh connection uh it takes up that whole bed and they weigh hundreds of pounds this weighs about 50 pounds so it's pretty easy to take out so this is one of the things that we really were looking at hard when we were looking at options for our trailer is the step system a lot of the older trailers have steps that fold out from uh, the trailer it's or from the uh, rv itself um, these are what's called the brand name is the solid step and it's a one piece step that folds up and locks into the doorway. So this here is the lock for the solid step system. You can see it locks here on the sides, just locks into the door frame right here. To unlock it, simply pull the lever over and the doors are in the steps. That's a much 
better system <laughs> than than some of the others that have to unfold um, these are good for bigger people and I'm a bigger people so uh, these are pretty solid so going on inside of the RV here we are so what do you think think it's a little tight yeah it's a little tight the slide outs are not out so let me show you that so this has got a slide out on both the left and the right the left slide out has the dining area and has the lounge chairs recliners all the way in the back that is a full couch that folds out into a bed and the entertainment area the kitchen and an island so all the controls for the RV are right up here when you first walk in the door there's more so here we've got uh, all of the sensor controls uh, so we can tell what the fluid levels are battery level so press this as bat we got a full charge on the battery our fresh water has about a third of a tank black water is empty gray water is empty so fluid wise looks good now we empty that gray and black water every time we leave a park here we have the controllers for the slide out so this will extend and retract the exterior awning so let me show you that the awning is right here over the door just come in here we're going to extend that awning out So now we've got shade out here, right outside the door. It's pretty awesome. Here is the slides. So we're gonna slide this one out by just pressing the button. So here we are inside with uh, both slide outs extended. Here is the dining area. There's storage kind of hidden everywhere. So there's even storage. That's where we put the shoes under the dining room. These are both uh, reclining chairs. Kind of a blue light. I don't know what that's for. Um, other than when you're sitting in the dark so you can find your drink. But neat feature. This is a full couch that folds out into a queen size bed. And unlike some of those, unlike the old fashioned hide beds where that bar was kind of right in the middle of your back when you're trying to sleep, this doesn't have that. This is actually a pretty comfortable couch to sit on and to sleep on. So tons of overhead storage up here. I love just the, you know, it's actually not hardwood, it's probably particle board, but just the way that they've designed and decorated this on the inside just looks really, really nice. I love the colors. So, there's the entertainment area. More storage. Television. When we're camping, we make use of a Roku. So it has a built-in stereo um, the this is integrated with the television uh, has CD player and it uh, is connected to speakers both inside of the RV and outside the RV under the awning so it sounds really nice I don't know if you'll be able to capture that on this this is radio Newman, the only real estate agents we trust and recommend to sell real estate in the Jacksonville area. Call Chad and Sandy at 904-41. So, 
nice little stereo and then this underneath that is a heater now obviously made to look like it's burning something in there it's a faux wood it's probably some kind of ceramic material um, but we turn this thing on and it does some heating so here is the kitchen area again more storage la 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 spices camp coffee no campground is complete without coffee camp stuff no campgrounds complete without plenty of peanut butter microwave It'll light in the cooktop as well as a fan everything that you'd have in a home kitchen it's got a uh, three burner cooktop everything is gas and we have an oven slash broiler Again, more storage, pots and pans. So this was a feature that I thought was really cool. So um, the countertops, this is a laminated material. This is not solid surface, um, but all stainless steel sinks. This is a cool feature. So it's got a hose so you can spray wherever uh, to wash your pots and pans. storage you get in the picture there's lots and lots of storage <laughs> and then this is just the cubby this is uh, the vent for the air intake is right here uh, the little black box down on the right there that is the circuit breakers on uh, fuse box more storage more storage. I think this is where she's got the plates and stuff. Tons and tons and tons of storage. And you got a queen size bed in here. Got enough room. So we got ant traps everywhere just in case. Um, last time we went camping, we had a big problem with ants. There was ants everywhere at that park. So now we just keep them in here, collect them when we need to. So queen size bed, more storage. Little drawers and hang up if you want that. Uh, over the bed. The bed has two regular outlets over it one there and one there so this is one of the features that we really loved about this unit is it has two air conditioners so this one is just for the front bedroom and this one covers the rest of the rv so don't know how many of you sleep with the with the air conditioning on, but I sleep with air conditioning and a fan on. And without that, I gotta have a nice cold room. So when I was a kid growing up, I slept with blankets only, no heat in our bedrooms, and it was just toasty and I loved it. So two air conditioning, one for the bedroom and one for everything else. That's the way to go. So I didn't show you this. So this is the manipulation for the antenna up on top of the RV so we can turn that 360 degrees with this knob to get the best signal uh, that we can pick up. So coming up the stairs to the left, you probably saw this door. This door is to the bathroom. Here we go in here. So it is a full bathroom shower doesn't look very big but that's a pretty big shower I got wide shoulders and I can 
take a bath in there without any issue whatsoever. Cabinet, another stainless steel sink, medicine cabinet supplies, towels. Smells good in here, smells like soap. So Lala's already got her clean towels already put back in here. So when we get home, we take the towels, wash them, throw them back in here so we got them for next time. So this is kind of a cool feature. So you don't see a shower door here or a curtain. So this right here is, this right here is the shower curtain. So it rolls up, rolls out, out of that. This is the toilet, gravity fed toilet. Uh, to flush it, got this pedal right here. Just press on that pedal and you'll see the ball roll back in the toilet and flush. shower head so it just pulls off and wash all those body parts just like at home the one picture that's fixed comes in the factory or from the factory and uh, this is not something that we added um, this is right from the factory so this is a factory equipment this is our happy place and when it comes to camping and hanging out at a campground for the weekend that is absolute the truth. Um, we love going camping, love spending time together out in the woods, um, and just kind of escape from the day-to-day -day grind. So folks, that's the tour of the new to us RV. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's been a long time coming. It took us two months to get this out, but finally got it to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think I'm going to just take a nap now. Take care, folks. Remember, always treat others as you would like to be treated. Lala Farm, out!